Welcome back everyone. I am Sorkin090 and this is Cal and this perhaps may be the last one. This last recording for now. It is coming down to the end. And we're very excited about this and Big Mike's not here to experience this with us but that's okay. He's he's done it before. He'll, he knows. He he knows exactly what happens. And perhaps even if this goes already to the 30 minute mark and we're at the very end, we'll just extend it. Why not? This is a finale. Yeah, this is probably a finale. Unless uh, the video is entitled finale, <laughs> in which case you'll know that we're not talking about this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as I know, that there's going to be a regenerator because he's just hiding right there. He's in that room, right there. Swanky's in there? Yeah, Swanky's in there. You could tell by the gate right there. So, right. yeah, I could hear him. Let's well, uh, let me see. Well, I could actually make an appearance. You know what? Let's go make him angry. Yeah, I'm going to make him angry. Hey, buddy. Swankovich. Swankovich. How you doing, buddy? I didn't know you were in prison. What did you do to be in prison? Oh. That's one. You covered yourself in leeches. Whoop. Yep. Oh, I missed. Oh. How did I miss from that close of a range? There, there we go. Oh, and now I ran out of ammo. This is perfect. He definitely does have one on his back. Yep, they always do. Now let's see. Oh, he mad. He real mad. Alright, that that's definitely gonna do got the one on his back. Yep, now let me see. Well, let's use the striker for this. And it was a little higher on the chest. Right around Somewhere there. around there. But why isn't the spray getting him? Eh... It's just randomized, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Alright, TMP time. One of these will hit. Yeah, there we go. One will hit him. <laughs> there we are. Super dead. Yeah. Goodbye. And he's... Yeah. Yeah. Get some five just grand. Five get the red herb. Five thousand pesetas. Little piñatas. Them sweet, sweet piñatas. Now, let's see if there's any more treasure. There's no more treasure, so from here on forth, this is gonna be easy. Whew. There we go. Time to rush through this. Let's see how fast I can actually go through this, but first, that. Oh, some this, this, this is going to help, especially with the Magnum. The Magnums. Even though they're not going to be much use, but... Uh, Here we go. Oh, hey. Hey. How are you going? Dead. Oh, oh. Oh, really? Wow. Random odds, man. You gotta love them. Ow. Oh. Really Ow. From the from the area it was in, it really should have got that guy out. Yeah, it would. Oh, JJ, he came back. Oh no, he's here to make a movie. Whoa, 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 whoa! Duck for duck for cover. Getting cover, getting cover. Yo. Oh, another, another one. one. He's dead. Very nice. That guy's just chilling up there. He's just hanging out. How's it going? Let me see. He doesn't know what's going on. Yep. The dude's throwing axes. And now he's dead. <laughs> Where's the JJ at? Oh, he's, they're always higher than you for some reason when they appear. They never appear like right in front of on you. On the same level as you. Okay, the JJ is right there. Well, there he is. There we go. Well, ammo. Jumped down, came around. Whoa. Oh, he can't hit you. Ooh, I didn't think you'd actually aim. Oh, oh, double hit. Oh, man. The humanity. There Let me see. Go. Let's do a magnum hit. Let's see this big old magnum hurt him. Oh. The humanity. Now, how much did it hurt him? Enough to. Yeah, there's that guy shooting him as well. <laughs> that guy's on top is dead. If he's what, not what, dead, what are you doing, JJ? He really doesn't want to get shot in the head anymore. Well, too bad. Too bad for him. Headshots always. So that's all you have to do. Just keep doing headshots. Oof. We're going over here. I'm going to stab this guy. Oh, I got 15,000 oh. pinatas with that one. Yeah, I mean, what's the point of money at this point in the game, really? Only until the next playthrough is going to be more important. <laughs> now I got to go. ask. Even if, even when we actually already beaten this, oh dang! Oh man, that that's he just was just out of range of the knife. Yeah, no. Kick. That that's it. Boom. That's what you get. So, would you guys actually want us to go through the whole thing again on professional? 
Because it's going to be the same thing, but probably different commentary. Yeah, we'd be having the hand cannon and the other guns. Whoa. Probably, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I'm professional. If we actually... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, professional. Professional is just harder. Yeah, but still, we would have the hand cannon automatically if we actually do the mercenaries, right? Yeah. Definitely should. It should. If it doesn't work, then it's like, what the heck? Why would we do mercenaries if we can't even get the hand cannon on... What's it called? The regular survival mode. Yeah, it's like... It will not point? make sense. It wouldn't make sense. There's no point. If friggin' you can't do that, what the heck? But if we can, at least I'll be able to get the achievements. But still, it'll be fun using a hand cannon. All just, of the achievements. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. This is gonna activate a cutscene. But first, gotta get the yellow herbs. So many yellow herbs. They are so useful. Like, Touch. Oh, no. Here we are. What a jerk! He took the card key! He's like, I'm taking this. I'm... Psych! See you later! Oh my god. I'm just gonna steal your stuff. And now everybody's coming by. Oh my god, it's a party. So many people. So many. Hey, wait, can I still operate this? Let me see. Uh, nope, one is... Nope, I need to activate it. Yeah, bring the key card. God dang. Here. So, suplex time. Oh! Suplex! You called it? He did it. Suplex. Oh, oh, long range. Man. Suplex. Boom. Double suplex. Can we go for three? Nope, wait. Dang. Nope, we oh. can go for three. three. Suplex. All in the same area. Whoa, how did he miss? Invincibility frames. Yep. You know what? Grenade time. Oh, yeah, there you go. I haven't used one of those against regular dudes in a while. Yeah, these guys are so annoying, so... Oh, he's already dead. I thought he was going to get up. Very nice. Okay. And no one exploded into a horrible head mutation. Awesome. As long as these are not the spiders. Oh, God. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. I thought he was going to get you. <sighs> Always. You got a suplex. Suplex! Four in this one encounter. Hey, look. Money. Almost back to back. Who fell down here and died? Well, there's oh. a JJ. Yeah. Yeah, Were you trying horrible, to hit me? All these horrible monster people. Suplex! suplex. Only if he turns them around. This might be a head splitter. Oh, Ooh. man. Hey, you have a necklace. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. Shot in the knee. Immediately oh. takes a dive. Oh, look. I got the car key already. Yeah, very nice. That'll like, work. If, if I stole something from the dude who was killing everybody... Especially since I maybe probably have a hive mind intelligence. I would have ran away really far away. Instead of just attacking you with a bunch of guys who are basically cannon fodder. Head splitter. Yep. Well. Nice. He, only, he, only, he, got, he was getting close to you. Yeah, he was. So. But the black tail is overpowered. It's great. Stupid crossbow jerks. Always. Why are these guys inf infamously known for being head splitters? Uh, I like. For some reason, they've been spawning more on ranged guys than the melee guys. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, Taser. <laughs> Tasers. Nice. Boom. Combo. Lots of handgun ammo. They really want you to use Leon's trusty handgun. Oh look, there's still one more person. And that box, I'm pretty sure, is a snake. Let me see. I'm pretty sure there's a snake. Hey, the jackal. There's a snake in his box. Nope, it's just gold. I know there's one around here with a snake. Oh, yes. Suplex! Suplex! Ah, that never gets old. All of the time. Aw, oh, I gotta get suplex. Ooh. Bars Finally! Something useful. Rifle ammo. Something more useful. Yeah, that's pretty useful, yeah. Ten bucks says that this is a head splitter. <laughs> nope. Oh, you owe somebody ten bucks. Probably well, not me though. <laughs> somebody in the world. I wouldn't have taken that bet. I was like, he probably will head split. <laughs> He's probably gonna head split. Speaking of giving money away, I found twenty dollars on the drive-through floor where I work, and with that twenty dollars, I gave it to a homeless guy. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I think the most money I've ever given to one time to a dude who was homeless. I gave him 10 bucks after I saw him, because I didn't see him when I walked in, but as I was leaving, 
a respected fast food restaurant name I won't say. I uh, I was like, hey, you know, I got a little bit of change. I'm not hurting for money right now. If this guy looks hungry, just ten bucks. And you know what he did? What? He immediately walked inside and ordered probably the same thing I ordered. <laughs> Why not? You have ten bucks to eat. He's like, or use. He's like, <laughs> use eat. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna get something to eat. <sighs> it's just it's just the random acts of kindness that makes it worth all the while. Yeah. We have so many exploding barrels that we don't even get to use. Right. Yeah. Oh ah, well. So many. No, it don't so, matter. So, so many. But you did get a nice red. And yellow and green. You can put all these reds and greens and greens and yellows and reds and yellows and you got a first aid spray. <laughs> you, yes. you got quite a bit of full health there. And yeah. You will probably need them. Yeah. I'm gonna probably. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna need them. Especially what's gonna pop up next. The horrible monsters. <laughs> Everything. That Leon's been fighting this entire game. Well, we just got one more to go. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of ammo for everything, so it's pretty good. Yep. Finish, there we go. Finish off the reloads. So let me see. That's good. That's good. The boss battle is actually pretty easy once you think about it, and you know exactly what to do. I remember how to do it too. So this is going to be an easy boss battle. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah. If Ooh. I turn around. Hey, buddy. Oh, you shield guys. Oh, he's getting messed up. Just always. You guys are not even worth the trouble anymore. So let me see. Anything in here? Nope. I wonder if any. I wonder if at any time during development, these guys had iron shields that you couldn't break, and you had to do like a precision shot. Someone to get it no, done. no one's calling me. What's this? Oh, I'm being called. Let me mute the mic. Sorry about that. Here we go. Ah, this horrible door. Just I had to take the phone call. What are you doing? Calm down, Dougie. This dog's old. Hello. Oh, time for the cutscene, I think. Yep. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. So a few things. Explosive well, wreckage. Well, conveniently placed barrels on top of the exit. Yeah. And Ada actually helps you. Yeah, Ada's like, you know what? I've been like a horrible jerk this entire time. I'm gonna help somebody out. She barely helps you out at all, as you clearly saw. Oh, the last merchant. <laughs> oh, I don't know. There's one more merchant after this. Pretty sure. There's always a merchant before a boss battle. Right before the boss battle. Hmm. Nah. Uh, if you sell uh, stuff, you can get the exclusive, pump it up to... Nah, to for the boss battle, battle, you don't even need to bother with the exclusive, so... Yeah, sounds good. It's okay. So if only you would sell ammo, because that's the one that I truly think that I need. <sighs> Anything? Ooh. I'll sell that. Sell that. Yep. There we go. Very nice. I don't need to buy the exclusive. It's good enough as it is. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Great gun. 
But once I get the hand cannon, there's no use for the broken butterfly. It's just easy cash. <laughs> no use for a lot of stuff after the hand cannon. Oh, look at that. A note. Lewis's memo number five. He had more. I think this is the last one. So, from the initial stages of the research, we have been searching for a safe and practical removal procedure for the Plaga, or of the Plaga. Ironically, it turns out that the real objective of this research was not to find a way to remove the Plagas from the infected persons, but to find a way so that the Plaga could not be removed for the, from the body easily. Okay, so... Yeah, he was like, we're going to fund the research, because, you know, Lewis was a bad guy, he was working for bad guys. We're a fun research. We want you to remove a plaga from a person. That way we know all the ways that you can't remove a plaga from a person. You know, that good old reverse logic. That's pretty good. Ingenious. In the end, we were able to find out that the plagas could be removed only by exposing them to a special radiation. The only drawback with this method is that it is a very painful procedure. Since the plaga attaches itself to the nerves, there is a possibility that it may impair the consciousness of the host. So you pass out. Another fact that must be mentioned is that once the plaga grows into an adult, the removal procedure could kill the host. Perhaps death isn't so bad when you think about the alternative. So you would rather be controlled than to experience death. And... If you were able to retain your free will, as some of the guys were, such as Krauser, you would get crazy superpowers. Up but, there. no, I'd rather die than have crazy superpowers. Just, if that's the expense of getting these powers, it's like, no, I don't want. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Wait. Oh, he mad. Oh, it's big dude mad. So, flash. Boom. And then shotgun time. Oh. Going down the shotgun path. Boom! Good thing it blows him back. Otherwise, that would be freaking. These guys would be a pain. You don't want them to flatten you. Yep, there it is. Nice. Nice! Oh, whoa, whoa that is a first. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen it. But it died easy enough. Whew. Damage the body, damage the parasite. That's good. Yeah. We're good here. Real good. So, follow me, Ashley. Follow me. So, let me see. Go over here. Oh, we can't leave Ashley behind. She's oh, right behind me. <laughs> she can't be down that corridor you were just in. Apparently. She has to stand behind you. And here's a spot again. So, what were they doing to her? Wait. Good thing Sadler's not here. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be dead. <laughs> Possibly. If Ada would have come in here the second time. So, I believe there's something here that I would want to get. Just because. This is just... You don't really even need to be here. But if you want to be here, this is where it's going to be handy. Just go over here. Go up there. Go over here. Red herb. Definitely Red helpful. Herb. And Magnum. Magnums. So, there you go. Five good old Magnums. So, this is going to be helpful. Oh, I can't get down here. And also, you can just run away all the way back to another merchant. Yep. You can head on back to him, get whatever, sell whatever. Why are you so itchy, doggy? Do whatever. Just go to sleep. There's a bunch of stuff that you can do. There's a bunch of stuff you can't do. Follow me. In the game all the time. Until all the end of time. All day, every day. Greenwich Mean Time, to be exact. <laughs> we live on the equator. All right. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the ocean. Simple enough. The exact center of the earth above the crust. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right, here goes nothing. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. All right, guess I'm up.
You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. I like how she screamed out less than he did that entire time. And hers should have been way more painful because she was implanted first and therefore it would have been almost an adult at this point in the game. This has no con. This has so many continuity <laughs> issues or time issues. It's so bad. So bad, but so good. We love this game. It's good. It's a great game. It is. Okay, so we could just save over here. Yep. So if in case anything goes wrong. Oh, yeah. All right. Save. Wait. Just save it. Just save it. Just in case some disco dynamite dude breaks into the house and, like, smashes it and then leaves. <laughs> I have a save point. <laughs> <laughs> Just simple as that. So, we is there anything else in here that we need to get? No. Yeah. yeah. Sadly. I like how they both knew how to operate that machine. With no instructions. It's like, we instinctively know how to do this. We're gonna eliminate the bugs. Oh, and one thing's first, like, well, first thing, like, when Sadler pretty much, like, palm fisted the guy, like, how is his ribs not broken from the initial force? Yeah, like, he's like, oh, you could say ballistic vest stopped it, but that's optional. Like, Leon doesn't magically get a ballistic vest in all of time and space just because you bought one now. He'd be dead. <laughs> it's like, oh, but the Plaga gives him superpowers. This is the dude who controls the Plaga. And hold, before we read this, secondly, when the the Plaga just gets disintegrated in their body, it, doesn't all that go into your organs still? Yeah. They would be dead from that, too. Super dead. Oh, well. Just, it's whatever. The Oh, yeah, our mission. So they tell us their mission here. The real power of the United States lies in three areas, the Justice Department, the administration or administrative bodies, and the military. In order to take control of these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the president. After this is done, the rest of the departments will quickly fall under our sway. Just change the Y to a G, fall under our swag. Terrible. Terrible. Yes, Terrible. I know. We're stopping fucking swag from taking over the America. It or, it's already been taking over the generation of us. We're doing God's work here. <laughs> <laughs> if by chance the United States were to figure out our plan, the damage caused should be minimal. We are still we will still be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use our international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. This was back in 2001. Yeah. Or 2002. I'm not too sure when this game was released, but that was back then. Today, we all know that even if the whole country gets corrupted, no other country would actually follow suit, as far as I know. They would try to probably start a war. Well, we've been, we're like, it's, it's horrible. I won't get into it, political stuff, but yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's just, this whole thing, if we try to put our logic of real life, this will never work. Even if this... If even if their plan went to step one, this would never work. Yeah, because Leon would be a plaga, and they like confirmed that Leon would destroy everybody. Apparently, as already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, we'll proceed with our secondary plan by sending in our special "quote unquote" forces. We will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. Nice pun. Yeah. Biohazard, T virus, G virus, ABC virus. <laughs> they have a lot of letters. Yeah. It'll only be a matter of time before the country, the country loses its stability. At that time, when they are most vulnerable, we will strike. Rejoice, my brethren. The world shall be cleansed. With soap and water. If one dude named Leon Kennedy could do this much damage to your entire operation, what chance do you think you would have against the entire country. And I'm not saying the entire country is made up of dudes like Leon Kennedy, but there's at least 10 dudes who are as good or better than Leon Kennedy. You still got Chris Redfield, you still got Jill Valentine. 
Is that her last name? Yeah. Okay. And then we have other people. We have Hunnigan that knows the background story. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. Well, here's the last merchant. Do you have anything else for me to sell? Got a selection of Good things on sale. Let me see what you have. Nope, just same there's, old, same old. Except for the rocket launcher. You can buy another one. Yeah, if you want to buy a good old fat rocket launcher and you shoot someone in the face with it. <laughs> that is kind of like... Well... Foreshadowing. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Ada. Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. Uh. Uh. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back. Okay, this is just a transformation scene. There's no more dialogue. He threw his knife, got his knife back. Everyone knows that one. No, no, no. It, the reason why, if you actually paid attention to the knife, that was the knife that he took from Crawzer's dead body. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I had the little cobra snake on there. But you never see him actually picking up the knife. Ridiculous. And how is he able to talk with that eye in his throat? Seriously. It's nasty. Whoa. Excuse me, man. It's straight up nasty. This guy's actually pretty easy to kill. When I first bought this game and I looked at the the uh, box art and stuff, when I got to the castle and I realized that you weren't going to fight this guy in a castle because they wouldn't reuse the same castle, I called it that you were going to either fight on an oil rig platform or a construction site. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and this is exactly what that is. Well, time to climb to the top and then stab him in the eye. Oh, the pain. Does it hurt? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you actually get the rocket launcher, you're able to kill him at, like, at the first time. But it's like, nah, let's go drag this battle on because it's a cool battle. Yeah, I think uh, I think you can hit him in the face with a with rocket launcher. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. got to hurt. I remember that. What, what else was I going to say? I can't remember. Uh, You can go across the bridge and you can... Uh, uh, cut it. Oh, that was fast. And you can cut it so that, uh, he gets stuck on one side, and then you can shoot him for a little bit, and then he'll jump across. This is this is still an easy battle. It's just you don't need to worry about this. You have so many health Look at upgrades that. and stuff that, at this point, it's all fine. Yeah. It's all good. You got full health. The dogs want out, so I'll let them out. Just in time, too. You know what? Let me see. I'm gonna have to do this anyways, because I want to go grab the items. <laughs> Alright, go Let's grab the item. Climb up. Grab that item. Come on, man. Come on, sadly. You can do it. He looks suspiciously a lot like it. Come on. Oh wait! Oh, he was waiting. Okay, I didn't think it was a double. Whew. That's one way to do it. Yep. Jump down. Isn't there another one of those somewhere? I think on the other side, but you don't even need to do that. Yeah. So I got the two eyes in the front, and I think I got one eye in the back. Not too exactly sure though. I. S this is just a horrible spot. Ow! Ow! Get out! Ow! Oh, this is a horrible so spot. Much. So much pain. Don't want to get one hit now. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. Oof. Oh. There was even a dodge opportunity. 
Oh, that I opened it and closed. Well, this one has more free range. Oh. Nice. Now this is where the TMP comes in handy. TMP is always in handy. Even though you don't need to buy it, but it still comes in handy when you need it. Especially with this boss. Like, AD uses it, Krauser uses it, everyone uses it. It's like one of the best guns in the game. It really is. Oh, he mad. He real mad. You mad because you bad? Nice. Like I said, this boss is actually pretty easy once you know how to beat him. Got a right in the freaking mouth. And stab. Right in the eye mouth. <laughs> how do you, like, you gotta eat. How do you eat like that? Oh, there we go. Use this, Leon. Use this thermonuclear warhead rocket launcher I just threw at you. Jump! Time to oh god, he's right in front of me. He's already there. <sighs> just lovely. There's the rocket launcher. Yep. Excuse Ooh, me, man. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, at least I gave you time to pause. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Just <laughs> move the TMP ammo slightly. Now I gotta shoot one more eye. Come on, show your eye. There you go. And... Rock time! It's game time! What if you were actually able to miss a shot? She would throw you another one. Would she? Yeah. Oh well. Another cutscene. Doesn't matter, no dialogue. Boom! Boom. And that is it's how you end it. Crazy rocket launcher! We're already at 33 minutes, but like I said. Well, there you go. It don't matter. Oh, there no, matter. this is where the cutscene or dialogue happens. In a few minutes, he won't even be matter. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Okay, few things. How did she jump from there and not get killed by the helicopter? Yeah, she was even killed by the helicopter blades. Like, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. She got the thing to blow up the whole island. Like, I'm gonna blow up the whole island. You got three minutes to get off the island. Here's some jet ski keys. I'm taking the vaccine. And literally everything is my fault. Because I'm a horrible character. <laughs> And they wasted 25 seconds just to, for that cutscene already. Yeah. Just look, very cute. Keychain with a bear on there. They really only give you 2 minutes and 30 seconds to get to the jet ski. And you need... You got like you 1 minute like, to... You literally get 1 minute to get to the jet ski and you need like 30 seconds to get out. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, at least they give us some time. At least they froze the timer. They give you a moderate amount of time to get there. What was another thing that I completely forgot? There's some games that are guilty of giving you way too much time. Yeah, but people get lost. But still, like, what was another thing I wanted to talk about? One thing was that, then the keychain? I don't even know. He should have <sighs> just shot her. Nah. Oh yeah, the helicopter thing. You don't even hear it. You don't hear it. Until it actually pops up. Well, just like the other guys didn't hear the helicopter as he was, as uh, Mike was pushing a water tower on him. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There's no logic anymore. Okay, let's go. The emergency system has been deactivated. Releasing locks. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for releasing the emergency system now that I've killed this guy. And got 100 and thousand. And gotten 100,000 pinatas. <laughs> I like how he actually has that. Yeah. So, like, if you only fight this guy, you only need to beat the game 10 times to get a million bucks. Or that you know every treasure, you don't buy the guns anymore since you already have powerful guns. 
Can we skip this? And you get a whole bunch of money real fast. Up here comes another cutscene, but it's just pretty much saying, let's go, hurry up. Leah. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? It's gonna what? It's gonna blow oh, up. It's gonna explode at any moment. Oh yeah, here's a little Easter egg kind of thing. You try to go back. It collapses. Oh. I wanted to save the merchant. Merchant <laughs> man, the island's gonna blow up. How are you gonna get all your your wares off the island in time? And all your torches. Yeah. I gotta catch her. Useless. It's horrible. <sighs> Climb down a friggin' ladder. Just jump down like I did. Just, Is that really hard? Just jump. He'll he will uh, he'll rolling catch you. <laughs> rolling start. Get on. Okay, use this. Use the jet ski key. Use it right now. Let, let's see if I don't die. I remember on the GameCube version, I had trouble with this. I also died here. Like, it was horribly anticlimactic. I was just driving along, driving along, dead. Driving along, driving along, dead. I was like, oh, that's... I like how the doors have, like, a system. Whoa! Sick jumps! <sighs> Do a trick! Whoa! Is that necessary to know? You're wasting my seconds here. Behind us. I know. Just hold on. Horrible tidal wave. Hold on, Ashley. Oof. We'll outrun it. Oh, now you tell me how to accelerate. Oh god, I almost hit the wall. Accelerate. Whoa. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oof. Whoa. Do I have enough? Whoa. Okay, good. Okay. All over the place. Zoom. Go, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go, go. No, I can't see. I can't. Oh god. Whoa. You quit blocking my vision. We did it. Yeah, there it is. There we go. There's the money shot. <laughs> right at the end. Of the course. The rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> she falls off. Oh my god. Where are you? Gets eaten by a mutated shark. Los Lagos. I like how her clothes is not wet anymore. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So... Who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Does he even know where he's going? I guess not, it's just whatever. Like, well, there's, there's an island out there sooner or later. There always is. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the end of the game. There's some sweet, sweet credits and some good old artwork of the crazy villages. I guess this is the beginning where they actually show the story of how these guys were meant to were here. Like regular villagers, then someone come over and then they take over. Yeah. They had a happy life. This is actually pretty sad when you think about it. It's a little bit sad. It's well, all Lewis's fault. And Ada at some point. <laughs> well, the plot is Lewis's fault. Ada is like. She makes it everything worse, and then everything after this is her fault. So yeah, back then they had children. They had all the children, and then they, they murdered all the children. Because they had no use. Yep. The Plaga can't grab children. It kills them. They so, can't handle the Plaga, especially when it grows to an adult. It's like overtaking the body as its own. So it kills all the kids. <gasps> they had a guitar player, too. Oh, Mr. Guitar Man. Uh, why Help don't... us forget our poorness with your guitar. <laughs> now nah, they had a they had a pretty good life. They still had plumbing. Yeah, I mean, friggin' what was? Oh, oh no, there's no. the beginning of it. Yep. Hey, everybody, you want to hear about this uh, new religion that some crazy dude named Sadler is founding? It's like, oh, that's where they inject him. So, yeah. what do you guys think about this whole let's play? Was it good? Was it bad? What was that we need to work on? There was good parts, there was bad parts. Look at the kid. Kid dead. 
Yep, he's dead. Dead kid. That, I love this game. The crazy guy, he's like, oh man. This thing. I'm so crazy. This thing injected into my body, what is it? I feel amazing. Look at me. Look at my arm. Look at my neck. My head just fell off. Oh. Oof. Anything else? Nope. Mocap. That's the it. The mocap guys. Leon, Leon. Kennedy, Ash Graham, Louis Sarah, Aiden Wong, Ramon Salazar, Krauser. Hey, the technical advisor is a voice actor too. Hmm. Very nice. There you go. So, there we go. No so more art. It. So, I love this game. It's a great game. It's a great game. If you guys. I, I was surprised by I how much. I feel sorry for that guy, Brandon Gay. Brandon Gay. Well, you know, they only needed a proofreader. Oh, Paul Paul Mercer here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Jim Ward was Jack Crowder. <sighs> oh, well. Let's, let's not try to get d d distracted with the credits. So, I was surprised by how much I had forgotten about the game. As did I. Even though I played this game like 20 times in a row on the GameCube version, I completely forgot how it went throughout the game, so that's where I became more careful, and I was pretty much slow. Yep. I, I picked it up at the end, but still, it's like, oh, if man. only I could have done better. The ending of a game makes you feel like you did something. Makes you feel good. You accomplished something in your life. Makes you want to run outside and shoot zombies and throw grenades. <laughs> if there is zombies in real life. We'll make zombies. Eventually. In my basement. <laughs> I'm just making zombies. Don't worry about it. You're fine. You're fine. Other people won't be. So, we already had some Let's Plays planned, and we're going to do the Let's Plays, but if you want us if you want us to do other Let's Plays, feel free. Oh, look. The characters and events be depicted in this game are fictitious. Any similarity to actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. So the game is protected under the laws of the Raccoon Police Department. <laughs> oh, dang. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack Free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. Story of my life. Dang, Leon. Oh, Leon. Just hitting it up. Get it all up in there. <laughs> Good job, Leon. Awesome. For this story, if if this is too similar to a real life person, I want to meet that person. It all it, It's all been calculated and risked and everything. They got to put it in there. It's, like, it's not based on any real person or events. Wouldn't it be amazing if it was? Have you ever been attacked by zombies? If you have, you could sue Capcom. Yeah. <laughs> sue the crap out of them. Just. There you go. Yeah. You killed almost a thousand enemies. 69% ratio, hit ratio. Come on, jokes. Died 15 times, clear time, 22 hours. I would say about four of those hours is just me being idle. Yeah. Well, I mean, a little more than four. Probably like six. Probably, I don't know. A lot of the times I was <laughs> idle when I had to do something else. Yeah. So, like I said, if there's any Let's Plays you want us to do, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Just make sure that they're pretty much straightforward from beginning to end. I'm not going to really do Skyrim because that would take forever in a day, especially yeah. with everything that's in Skyrim. But, also, if there's any co-op Let's Play games that we could actually do on the same screen, let us know so without me and Kyle could play a game. Yeah, I'm real good at games. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know until we actually do it. <laughs> just, just whatever. Just whatever game. Just let us know, whether it be on Xbox or anything else. But you could get this game, or uh, Resident Evil 4, on the Xbox Live Arcade. You could download it. I don't know how much it is. I got it for free from the bundle. But, I gotta say, this was fun. Yeah. I had, I have, I have, I've had a lot of fun doing this type of Let's Play, so I really want to do more Let's Plays. Oh yeah. Full so, plays. Great stuff. Awesome. There's nothing worse than seeing an unfinished Let's Play on someone's channel. Yeah, that gets real annoying. Especially when you want to know what happens next or if they actually do beat the game. Yeah. I'm the type of person that does it from beginning to end and I want to get it through. We're going to finish it. We're going to finish Even if I have to take over the whole thing, we will finish it. If I stop and he continues on the second half of Let's Play, why not? Yeah. Who cares if he dies 20,000 times? Just as long as we get the Let's Play done, we'll get it done. If I, like, 
there's a very small amount of games that I cannot beat when I start playing them. So you go ahead and leave, you leave some crap down there, and I will play them, and I will beat them. So let's see what else is new. Hopefully that I'll get my old HD PVR back, and then we could do the Nintendo Wii, and as well as the GameCube games. So you can suggest Nintendo or any other games. Oh yeah. Even though the quality may not be as good, I'll try to make it work. So let's see what we get from here. Upload data? Why not? I don't care. Let's see us in last place. Now you can buy the you could buy the infinite rocket launcher and the Matilda from the merchant. Matilda. Don't care for the Matilda, but I want the Why not? Has anyone ever maxed out the Matilda? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, it's worse than the TMP. Why not? <laughs> New round! Clear yeah. game. Second round, let's do another let's play the same game. Let's get it. Double round it. <laughs> and... New game. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the credits again. If you want to watch the credits. I don't care. I just want to get that out of the way. Yeah. Oh, this is the Xbox 360 team. Okay. I don't care. Good job. on that. Goes... Way to go, guys. Way to go. How many of you actually worked on this? Like three? Extras. Oh, we can do separate <laughs> ways. We could do assignment Ada. The Mercenaries or Movie Browser. Well, they have a movie browser? You can go to watch cutscenes. That is awesome. Not really. <laughs> There's only one cutscene I would watch, and that's the knife fight between Leon and Krauser. That face. Oh! That face. Oh, no! <laughs> it's so crazy! I never played separate ways. What is that? Um, It explains what Ada was doing while you were gone. Okay, because I was on the PS2 version. Assignment Ada was on the PS2. No, assignment. You were able to do Assignment Ada on the GameCube. Mercenaries on the GameCube. Separate Ways was on the PS2 version. So I never got to play this one. It's not great. Well, if they want us to do it, why not? Yeah, I mean, I've never done it before, so I'll I could do Separate Ways. I can even do Assignment Ada, and I could do the Mercenaries as well. So let us know in the comment section too. I know you probably answered it in another video, but for this video, I'll look at it too. If you guys want, would you like us to do all three of these? Mercenaries will take a will take a little bit of a while, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna be fun. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be fun. Try to get a high score. So there we have it. This is gonna be the end of this episode. This is all nearly fifty minutes long. Oof. This is gonna take forever to upload, but it's worth it. This is the finale. We're done. We're done with this game. And that's it, man. It's all over. <sighs> The uh, nightmare is finally over. For now. <laughs> Till we play Resident Evil 5 and maybe Resident Evil 6. But and then 7. If they make a 7. And then 8. And then Resident Evil A, B, and C, and then D, and then Z, and then W. Resident because Evil they made it in reverse order. Resident Evil X. <laughs> Resident X. Evil. <laughs> 4. Director's Cut. Special Edition. With hidden Easter eggs. <laughs> now well, with DLC. <laughs> Well, we're done for now. We're done rambling on. We're going to make another Let's Play after this. So stay tuned for that Let's Play. So that, with that being said, I'm Sora King Saran Zero. This was Kyle. Have a great day, everyone. And as always, we will see you in the next video.